William, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to graph y is equal to tangent x. And I will do other examples on the graph of tangent of whatsoever for you as well. Anyways, let's look at this one. First, we are going to find the domain of just tangent x. And we have to know a few things. First, we know that tangent x is the same as sine x over cosine x, right? And then we have to remember that to find the domain, we have to make sure that in this situation, we have a fraction. So we have to make sure the denominator cannot be zero, right? So let me write it down right here. We are going to make sure, and this is just to find the domain, right? Make sure that the bottom, which is the cosine x, we don't want it to be zero. And now, cosine of what is zero? Well, you have a couple ways to do it. Perhaps the best way is to utilize the unit circle. So let me draw it right here. So here is my unit circle. And then we have to remember that cosine is the x value on the unit circle. And we know that the point right here, the x value is 0. And right here, the x value is also 0. This is 0, 1. And this is 0, negative 1. OK? And now we have to look for how many degree, how many radians to turn, right? Cosine of x. This right here represents the angle. And when we're talking about graphs, we are going to talk about radians, OK? So from here, this is 0 radians. Once we turn this way, this is pi over 2 radians, and that's 90 degree. And then if you go from here, and then you add another pi, which is 180 degree, right? Pi over 2 plus pi, once you get here, we can get 3 pi over 2, right? And then you can just keep going. If you add another pi, that will be 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2. And you have infinitely many answers to this. So we are going to say x cannot be, let me put down the first answer right here, pi over 2. This is the first positive answer, by the way. And then I'm going to write down 3 pi over 2. And then you know you have 5 pi over 2. 7 pi over 2, so on, so on, so on. Can we have negative angles as well? Sure. Starting from here, this is 0, right? 0 radians. I'm going to turn backwards. So this is now negative pi over 2. And I can rotate it here. And this is the same as negative 3 pi over 2. So I'm going to put down negative pi over 2 right here. And then negative 3 pi over 2 right here. and yeah, you get the point, OK? So why do we bother to find this? First of all, of course, so we can state the domain. But second of all, these values right here are going to tell us where the vertical asthub are going to be for the graph of tangent. And now we are ready to graph this, OK? So I'm just going to show you the graph right here. And I'm just going to label these numbers on the x-axis first. And you can just estimate, right? So. I'm going to label right here. This is estimation. Okay, this is just pi over 2. And let's say this is 3 pi over 2. And then this is negative pi over 2. And then we have the negative 3 pi over 2. Right? Just eyeball it. And you have to remember this values right here tells us we have the vertical asymptote. So let's just go ahead and do this to represent the vertical asymptotes, right? And I know you have a lot more, but then um, this should be efficient, right? Should be sufficient. All right, and now what? Well, uh, a few more points will be helpful, or you can just kind of uh, remember this. Between two um, vertical asymptotes, in the middle, you have zero. This is something that you, have to, you can remember as well. But anyways, let me just do a quick table for you right here. x and tangent x, OK? If x is 0, tangent 0, this is going to give us 0, OK? So we have this point, 0, comma 0, right here. And then if x is pi over 4, then we know that tangent of pi over 4 is what? Well, you can once again utilize the unit circle. Pi over 4 is 45 degree, which is right here. And then you see that the depends on how you want to do it. The x value and then the y value are the same. Anyways, tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1. So pi over 4, which is in between of 0 and pi over 2, which is somewhere right here, Okay, just in between, in the middle. 
and we have one. So let me just label this right here as one. Okay, so this is uh, one, and this is pi over four right here for the x value. And if x is negative pi over four, we get tangent of negative pi over four, and we will end up with negative one. So we just move here, this is now negative pi over four, and then we have down here, negative one, and you have a point right here. And the most important part is, we have to remember the shape of the graph of tangent, secant, pretty much all the trig functions. This should be enough. And remember, when you uh, have this point, this is how it goes. When the graph goes approach to the vertical asymptotes, the graph is seeking to go straight down or straight up. Use this as the pattern, as I will say. You see right here to here, so you know this right here is going to go up, and just keep going up. And the graph goes straight up right here, right? And then you see that the graph will go straight down like this. And once you have one copy, okay, from here to here, by the way, the period right here is pi, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 is pi. You pretty much just repeat this, you know, as many times as you would like. So right here, zero in the middle, and then you go ahead and sketch the same graph like this, and you copy this down here as well. Sketch the same graph like this, okay? So it's supposed to be a nice smooth curve going up like that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that should be good enough. Anyways, let's talk about the domain and the range. D stands for the domain, okay? And for this situation here, this is how we're going to write the domain, where you set builder notations. Domain is going to be all the set, the, I mean, the set of all the x values such that x cannot be, well, you see that we have pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, so on, so on, so on, right? 5 pi over 2, 2, and things like that. Here, um, you have a couple ways to do it. In your book, this is how to do it. This is just a multiple of pi over 2. This is 1, 3, 5, 7. This is the odd number multiples. So what you can do is x is not k times pi over 2, right? k can be what? k is any odd number, okay? So you can just indicate that where k is an odd and to be technical, we can use the word integer because this represents both positive and negative whole numbers. And we are done for the domain. And then for the range, this is something you can remember quickly. You see that the graph of tangent, it goes straight down here and then it goes straight up, right? The range is all the y values, all the possible y values that you can get from the graph. So for the range right here, it's negative infinity up to positive infinity. Straight down here, straight up here. That's it. So check out the next video. I will graph uh, the question asked.